my name is Khairil Anwar Ramdi. Uh, I am an English teacher and I'm teaching English in SMK Teluk Sentang in Temeluh Pahang. So, when we want to write okay, a good essay, okay, we have to have three elements. Okay, first one is the introduction. Okay, second one is the main body. And the third one is the yeah, conclusion. Very good. So, paper, paper, paper. So, okay, just pass this around. Okay, do we have enough? Okay, just give, just give extra. Okay, and yeah. When you look, okay, at the samples, okay, you can write some notes because after this, I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay, in regards to the paragraph that you are reading. Let's have a look at our first sample. Okay, so you see the title for this section is comparison, okay, for the introductory paragraph. Okay, so we have two. Okay, so your task right now is, I want you to read it first, and then after that, I will give you one minute, okay, for you to discuss with your friend, the person next to you, and then after that, okay, I will get some responses from you. Okay, have you finished reading? Yes! Okay, very good. Okay, now we are going to move to our next activity. I want you to turn to the person next to you. And then you will be given one minute. Okay, one minute to discuss the paragraphs that you just read. When you are discussing with your friend, okay, please consider these two questions. Okay, first, number one. Okay, which paragraph caught your attention the most? Okay, think. So why did, why, why, while you are discussing, Okay, please like, consider this question. And then number two, what is the difference okay, between these two paragraphs? So your one minute begins now. Go. Which paragraph do you like? I like example one. Why? Because it has more information. Which paragraph uh, most Why? interesting to you? Of course, example one because um, it had it has more supporting details and more information. Your one minute is up. So now I'm going to ask you a question. What about you, Imran? Please stand up. Number one, which paragraph makes you want to continue reading? Uh, I will choose paragraph number one. Okay, why? Because it gives more information about best friend and more examples, elaborations. Uh, also, the, the points is good to read and it is interesting. Okay, very good. Okay, please give like a big clap to your friend. Wow, very good. Okay, Imran, sit down. Now, we will move to our next example. So, development paragraph, okay, is your main body, okay, of your essay, okay. So, now I give you, okay, you can, as you can see here, okay, there are two examples, okay, of uh, development paragraph for an essay. So now I want you to turn to your partner one more time. Okay, and then I'm going to give you one minute. Okay, and then I want you to discuss. Between these two paragraphs, okay, which one is better? Example number one or example number two? Okay, example number one. Okay, Alip, can you tell me why? Uh, I think paragraph number one is more interesting because uh, the writer give uh, more example, like Imran said, and it's more interesting. Now, let's move to our last example. Okay, examples which is, okay, the concluding paragraph. Okay, so just like before, I will give you one minute, okay, and then you need to uh, analyze these paragraphs, okay, and discuss it, uh, discuss. Okay, okay Imran, uh, you think what the pa uh, which paragraph is more interesting? Uh, yeah, the writers advise that take good care of your best friend, and he will take get, uh, take good care of you. So, okay, what's the difference between these two paragraphs? Mm. Paragraph number two. 
I think example two is too short and not uh, have not complete sentence. Uh, my students uh, are kampung kids, so they're not really good in English, uh, and it's, it is hard for them to write or converse in English. So to see them engage and participating in the lesson give me joy and motivation to keep teaching them. How do we write continuous writing? Number one, okay, you need to write an introductory paragraph. To make your paragraph more interesting, you can ask a question concerning the topic. The writer started off with, what is the meaning of best friend? And then he answered the question himself. It is someone who always shares our problem, which is the right definition of a best friend. Next one. When you want to end okay, your, in, your introductory paragraph, you should end it with a TC statement. Okay, so what is a TC statement? Okay, a TC statement is the last sentence in the introductory paragraph. Okay, my best friend is caring. My best friend okay, is responsible and my best friend is funny. Okay, so it has the topic of the essay and the main ideas that you want to focus. Okay, can we move to the next point? Okay, when you want to write your development paragraph, or when you want to write your main body, okay, you can start off with topic sentence. Okay, very good. Okay, topic sentence is the first sentence. Okay, in the development paragraph. Okay, you remember the the example that we did just now. My best friend is a okay is carry. Okay, topic sentence. Okay, so it has the topic and one idea. Okay. okay? So it will look like this, topic sentence, okay? To build up topic sentence, you need to have your topic and then you need to have your main ideas. Having a topic sentence is not enough, okay? You need to support your statement, okay? So let's say, I said, uh, I think, okay, Siti loves me, I said to my friend. And then, okay, my friend will ask me, okay, how do you know? Uh, I can't answer, I know Siti loves me. However, okay, when you write your development paragraph, you need to wrap up or you need to sum up your whole point. So, you need to have a, a concluding sentence. You can start with thus, therefore, or hence. It all has the same meaning. I would encourage you to use therefore and hence okay, because thus is a bit old school. We reach the end of our essay. So, we want to wrap up our, all, all of our points. So, just as a marker to the reader, uh, to, to let them know that you are ending your essay, you can start with in conclusion, as a conclusion, to conclude in a nutshell, uh, as a closing note. But you just need to remember the first two. Okay, you don't need, you don't need to remember all. Just remember the first two. I can see that they are trying their best because most of the time they are struggling. We can see that they are struggling throughout the lesson. However, I consider this uh, as a first step that they have to take in order to challenge themselves. Okay, now that you are already in your group, okay, I'm going to distribute okay, the handout for our activity. Okay, so each group will get two. Okay, before you begin, I want you to brainstorm your ideas with your group members, okay? I want you to think of ideas about the thesis statement, okay? Topic sentence, supporting details, concluding sentence, and concluding paragraph. So, you need to discuss, okay? And then you need to fill in all the empty spaces in the handout. Okay, so fill in the mind map with the points that you want to write in your Essay. After you finish deciding the points that you want to write, try to expand your points using the space provided in your handout. Okay, you need to give up example to back up your points. And then, since there are four of you in the group, okay, you have to decide among yourself. Okay, who will write the introductory paragraph? Who will write uh, the development paragraph? 
concluding para paragraph. So you need to decide. Okay, each person has a role. My favorite idol is Lionel Messi. Okay, he is from Argentina. Okay, time's up. Stop writing. Now it's time for you to compile your work into uh, one complete essay. So in order to do this, I'm going to give each group a piece of mahjong paper and a marker pen. Remember, okay, you need to include your introductory paragraph, two development paragraph, and one concluding paragraph in your group essay. And then you must pick, okay, remember, this is important, you must pick the person with the best handwriting to write your essay on a piece of mahjong paper. Okay, write it nicely so it is easier for your friend uh, to read your essay. Any question? No. Okay, very good. Now I am going okay, to dis distribute okay, the materials for each group. So, yeah, Imran, can you help me with this? Okay. So, just take one and then like you guys. No, let's Okay, class. Okay, now we are going to do our gallery walk. Okay, I want you to have a look at your friend's essay and then you need to come up with a constructive feedback. Uh, so, constructive feedback is giving positive comment. So, how are we going to do this? Okay, we are going to do an, an activity called uh, Star and Wishes. So, when you look at your friend's work, okay, you need to think about two things. Okay, first, Okay, you need to come up with one sentence to praise your friend's work and then you need to come up with another sentence to tell your friend how they can improve their essay. So you go to essay number one, okay, essay number two, essay number three, essay number four and essay number five. So you need to write your comment for each essay. And then you can go to the front, okay, I will provide baskets for each group. So this is for group number one. We'll put your command in group number one, basket. Simple and easy. Okay. Class, did you have fun reading your friend's essay? Yes! So now, I want a group leader okay, to come to the front and then uh, you can take your basket back to your group. After you go back to your group, okay, I want you to go through all the comments that you get and then I want you to pick okay, two interesting comments from, uh, from your friend. Okay? And then after this, we will share this command together and then while you read your friend's command okay tell me if you agree or disagree about what they have written in the paper okay time's up okay so Imran Okay, can you share with us? I give you a star because of your spelling and your thesis statement are very good. Good. Okay, very good. Okay, congratulations. Okay, Alep. First comment is, uh, I give you a star because have a great development paragraph. They gave you a star because you have a good development paragraph. Okay, good. Okay, class. Okay, now we come to the end of our lesson. So, do you think that you can write uh, 
Uh, can you take a continuous writing after this? Yes. So these are the essential elements okay, that you need to use when you want to write okay, your continuous essay.